welcome to the Lady Nighthawk show. And you see that the Lady Nighthawk is like a hawk tonight. I guess that's what I really sound like. It's a Nighthawk, okay? You can see I'm a little washed out. Makeup didn't do too much help for me today, okay? Because I've really, really, these allergies and stuff have really been sick. But the person that I've had, I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to tell you this, why I'm not talking, okay? Um, on here, she's such a professional that she can almost do this whole show by herself, but, um, you know, I, I, I definitely, do, you don't want to hear this all night, okay? But I did not want to not introduce her in her song that she's going to sing for us tonight. And you know her, because she's co-host with me, and she's had people here, and so I'm going to let her introduce herself. So if you don't hear me anymore tonight, then you know why. And it's been such a rough day that my computer mm -hmm. crashed, you know, and I mean, it's just been a rough, I ain't going to say day, it's been a rough two weeks. My computer yeah, crashed, and then that. my phone, two weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, I've been sick, right? But. It's really been bad. My computer crashed and my phone crashed on me, right? And we called. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna let you introduce mm -hmm. yourself. I know I'm doing wrong, but I'm gonna shut up after I finish. <laughs> I know I'm one on one. I know it's I'm okay. doing wrong, but whatever it was that went on with my with my computer mm -hmm. because they could kind of connect it. It it, it 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 made the phone go out, you know, oh, wow. too. I used my son's phone to kind of talk. We was on the phone for a good little time. So I said, you need to buy a new phone. I said, yeah. if you give me some money, I will. Or even you're going to have to dump some stuff <laughs> and restore it. I said, I'm not doing that. There's too much stuff that's on there mm -hmm. for me to do that. And so, my, you know, we said, okay, we'll figure it out, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so if you try to get in contact with me, you can't. That's Just want I you mean. to know that. <laughs> um, so tonight... Um, I, I'm gonna let my guests talk. All right. And I say welcome. <laughs> so I'm Micah Chevalier. I'm a singer, songwriter, actor, um, performance coach, and uh, I've been here with uh, Lady Nighthawk for what several times actually. Girl, you didn't say over last year. Mm -hmm. the last. <laughs> two, three years since I've known you on Audrey. Yeah. So it's been at least three years, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then we got you to come on real regular, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I thank you. And, and, we, and we're and we most blessed mm -hmm. that you, we're family, yeah. you know. Um, last week I had another, the people, everybody that went to the awards ceremony, uh -huh. when they came on, I said, oh, this is my adopted daughter. Uh -huh. This is my adopted husband, and this is, my brother's name is Tony, so this is my brother. Mm -hmm. So you're my adopted daughter. <laughs> Aunt Audrey's my sister, yes. right? Okay. So I got all these family members along with my other family, but mm -hmm. I just want y'all to know that uh, these people are fantastic. Oh, Aunt Audrey, thank that thank whole you. family is talented, and they are just wonderful, wonderful people. And this one right here, she is a, such a sweetheart. Oh. I'm just... I, and I'm gonna okay, don't up. make me cry now. Okay, I'm not, I don't want you to do that. <laughs> Tom likes it when we cry, though. Oh. Then when we do it on set, oh, he loves it when we cry on set, man. You know, oh no, but don't goodness. do it, though. Don't do it. Don't do it today. Okay. So I'm going to shut up, okay, because we have something important that we're doing tomorrow, yes. and I'm trying to get ready. Um, by the time you see this, Good Friday would have gone, mm -hmm. uh, but she's going to be with us on Good yes, Friday, and, her, and Aunt Audrey and the rest of the crew is mm -hmm. going to be with us as well. And um, a lot of people are forgetting about Good Friday, and you can't get to the Easter Sunday without Good, if, Friday. Without Good Friday, you know? I grew up with Good Friday. Right. In fact, it started <laughs> yeah. out as being God's Friday. Exactly. You know? Mm -hmm. And so I'm really disappointed in seeing a lot of these churches and bookstores, Bible bookstores, mm -hmm. are, are, are celebrating like Easter, uh, Palm Sunday, Ash mm -hmm. Wednesday, um, but really nothing about Good Friday. Good Friday. And That's a um, shame. You, you can't get to the, you can't get to Easter. It's not even Easter, it's Resurrection Sunday. You yes. can't get to, this man died on the cross for us, right? right. Took away all our sins for those that believe. Mm -hmm. And you mean to tell me that now y'all gonna do this? You didn't want them to be born. Right. Cause you stopped Christmas being Christmas and started making it Xmas, right? right. So you, you asked him out. And I'm going to say this one thing. I promise y'all don't want to hear my voice. So I'm going to shut up. <laughs> but, I, but I have to say this. Yeah. But I saw on the news last night that Donald Trump 
mm. is selling Bibles. I said, now, you know, something is wrong. Mm -hmm. And he's, and he's asked for like 60 or $90 for these Bibles, and they're supposed to say, God bless America. Wait a minute, so it ain't even, you know, mm -hmm. the Holy Bible now is right. God bless America. And he gives them away stuff that they could get on the free, right. like the Constitution of the United States and some other things if you pay this money. Well, not unless he's changing the Constitution and he's changing these other documents, right? Mm -hmm. But. I'm saying to myself, now it's, now it's time for me to be concerned, mm -hmm. really concerned, because now he's trying to make money off of the word. Yeah. And he said he has many Bibles. Off of the people that off, are. Off the people. The people that actually do believe that he's, he's, he's playing off of all of that, and yes. that's not right. Yes. And and so now, but but I'm not even gonna say what I'm really worried about. But but now mm -hmm. I'm really it's implied. Worried. Yes, I'm, I'm I, really worried. And those uh, of us who know know. Uh, and it's like we were talking about earlier. There's this, and I'm not gonna go too into it. But there's this spiritual warfare going on right now, mm -hmm. and people need to wake up and mm -hmm. look at the signs, and you know, really focus on what's going on here because mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of smoke and mirrors going on. Mm -hmm. That bridge that fell and oh, you th know, I live in I live in the Baltimore area. I live right outside of Baltimore. Um, and I praise and God that you I'm would glad not, I on was that not on the road. Um, I have band members who were on the road right before like maybe an hour or so before it happened. Mm -hmm. Thank God they were not on that bridge. Right. You know Apparently, God wanted them both to be here. Yes. You know, but there's there's more to everything that's going on mm -hmm. than what people see on mm -hmm. the television. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think everybody just needs to focus. Yes. And really get it, you know, if you are spiritual, if you are, you know, religious, mm -hmm. hunk, it's time to hunker down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so God is trying to align his troops, mm -hmm. you know, so that we can we can stand together on this warfare attack that mm -hmm. we're on because everybody and their brother, that, this, this is going to be the worst allergy season. Look, I done gone from a cold to the flu to my allergies with mm -hmm. broadcast mm -hmm. to pneumonia, thinking that I'm getting halfway straight now and we're back at the allergies again. You oh, know, my allergies have been going off too. And everybody, and they uh -huh. said it was going to be the worst. Out and it seemed like when they yeah. announced it on the news the next day, that was it. That this was going to be the worst allergy season <laughs> that we ever had, you know. <laughs> and I'm saying, you know, I got some other stuff going on, right? But but I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to put that into existence, right? right. I'm, I'm standing on God as a healer. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad that you were not on that bridge. Me too. I am so glad because we had just got through talking about that bridge that you were talking about. Oh well, I got to think the best way for me to get across town uh -huh. and try to get around the key bridge. We had that conversation the day before. We sure did because I take it a lot. I used yeah. to take it a lot, and um, you know, you never, you know, we take it, we take for granted for granted things for granted when we have them, and um, you know now. I got to take the long way, mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I just got to leave the house a little mm -hmm. bit earlier. When oh, if you got to move to town, when oh. I'm coming to the other side of Maryland. Yeah. Oh, you got to move in with Aunt Audrey over here. <laughs> oh, she would love that. I know she would. <laughs> you know? She, look, she she every chance she gets. You want to come spend the night? You want to no. have a sleepover no. and I'll cook and I'll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She would. She's planning already. Yeah. I'm gonna be there next week too. Yeah. Because I'm I'm gonna be there the day before, you know, we, we come in and do another show mm -hmm. and because she's right down the street. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's wonderful. Right. But um but yeah. So but it's, there's a, it's so much more it's so much warfare. There's so much going on. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things that um just even beyond me being a Christian me singing music, whether it's secular or religious, is very is a very spiritual thing for me. Mm -hmm. um, because I sing music that people can connect with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know Tom just uh, showed "Fly Me Away," which is actually the song that I'm gonna sing today. Oh, okay. So I missed it. it I is saw him a, shake. <laughs> it's a um, it's a song that I wrote with 
a gentleman by the name of Alan Johnson, mm -hmm. and they call him the bishop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is a very well-known jazz and gospel pianist mm -hmm. in this area, mm -hmm. but he does so much more than that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because this particular track is more like an R&B track. Mm -hmm. And everybody thought, you know, that it was somebody else that produced it. I said, no, no, no. I said, this is, I said, this was done by the bishop. This is mm -hmm. Alan. Alan did this. Mm -hmm. And I wrote the lyrics and the melody and we got together and we decided to, he had called me one day and said, you know, I haven't worked with you yet and I'm trying to, you know, do a couple of songs, you know, so that we can sell them and, you know, you know, get them out there, maybe have another artist perform them. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I'm down, I'm, you know. I said, when can I come over? Mm -hmm. So we actually worked on this and um, <laughs> I love the song so much. I said, Alan, I said, don't kill me. I said, my birthday's coming up and I'm really, really in love with this song that we did. Mm -hmm. I said, can I put it out? He was like, he said, yeah, sure, go ahead. So I released it as a single. Mm -hmm. And um, that's all she wrote. So it's you know now available on Amazon, um, Apple Music, mm -hmm. uh, all of the, you the know, major. media outlets, yeah. um, you, um, YouTube music, mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a wonderful song. Um, my uh, my former significant other Dawood, he took the picture for the single. We were doing a wedding, and he took that picture. It was like out at. Oh, can we see the picture again? Did he show it? Yeah, he I showed the picture it. again. <laughs> can I see the picture? Oh, there oh, it that's is. Another okay. picture. Oh, that's a nice picture. So that was me doing a Barry White uh, tribute show, um, maybe about three weeks ago, and okay. I had to wear. I was one of um, Barry White's background singers, okay. and and his wife Glodine had a group. Okay. And I was part of that group. Okay. And so we had Afro wigs. I see you. Stuff. It was I see so you. much fun. And uh, hopefully they'll be taking myself and the other girl that uh, I sang with, Alicia. Um, hopefully we'll be going to Florida in May to do the show again. Okay. So, but that was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. That was, <laughs> I wouldn't even know that was you. We that? had dance steps and everything. And Corey, like old, you know, old Corey, time, I, old school. You mm -hmm. go, girl. It was so fun. So, so did he put it on a video? Um, they did video it. Okay. Um, there are two ladies that, um, they call themselves Harris and Harris. They're, um, they're sisters. Um, one of the sisters played Glodine, so she was the third person. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other sister um, is, was, is part of the organization. They have a nonprofit. They also, she... Um, the other sister also wrote a book. Mm -hmm. um, they're from New York originally, but um, their mother was in show business, and her name was Lillette Harris. I don't know if uh, she was a famous jazz singer mm -hmm. back in the day. Mm -hmm. And so these ladies are both still, you know, catering the show business. They have a nonprofit that, you know, gives money to uh, youth organizations that are trying to do performing arts types of things, and mm -hmm. just really really wonderful ladies and um, really good organization mm -hmm. and it was a pleasure to work with both of them mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to doing more because mm -hmm. that show it was a lot of work mm -hmm. trust me it was a lot of work but it was so much fun mm -hmm. and that's like the reward and what I do now I hear, I hear so, very white in my head now since you and said this that. guy oh my gosh when I tell you that he looked like Barry White. Mm -hmm. He sounds like Barry White. Mm -hmm. It's like Barry White's spirit was there. Just right there the whole time. And yeah, it's amazing. And mm -hmm. people ask for him now all over the country. Mm -hmm. Now so he can't even be himself because. He can't even be himself he because he's, of Barry, he's because too of Barry much like Barry White. <laughs> yeah, and he's, <laughs> he met Barry White, I believe, before he, because he tells the story about how he met Barry White and, mm -hmm. um, because he used to do other people's music too. So uh -huh. he used to sing like Teddy Pentagrass and other things. And somebody said, you should do Barry White. Mm -hmm. And he did, and he caught some people's attention, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So did you have another picture of something? There it is. Oh, that's actually my logo. 
Yeah, okay. And um, I love that logo. It's my, my favorite color. It's beautiful. Blue and purple. And they call me the Creole butterfly. Mm -hmm. So how symbolic. The, there is a another version of that mm -hmm. that um, I, I call it the, it's not rustic in any way, shape, or form. It's just um, that logo um, was done off of the original logo, which a really good friend of mine, Chad Carter, created. It's beautiful. And, um, yeah, he created it. The picture of the eyes behind it, those are my eyes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was his vision. And then um, I had a company um, called Silver Star Art Studios. They redid the logo for me, mm -hmm. you know, just to give it a, you know, a new look and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that kind of revive it. Revive it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love it. It is. It's a, it's a beautiful logo. Thank you. And Thank you. Um, I mean, I like y'all, girl. Every time you bring something in here for me to look at, I mean, it's like, <laughs> wow. You know, the people that you have that between you creating your own and somebody mm -hmm. else create. I know y'all don't want to hear my voice, guys, because I'm, I'm tired <laughs> of hearing me myself, okay? So go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's, it's all right. It, it's, it's been a, an amazing journey. Like every, mm -hmm. everything that I've been able to do that God has allowed me to do, mm -hmm. the people that I've been able to meet and work mm -hmm. with, Oh, yeah, because, um, I mean, just the people that you keep on every time you come on the show, you, you know, mm -hmm. it's these amazing people that, wow, yeah. you know? So it's all it's all a gift. Mm -hmm. It's all a gift. It's all and God. I, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all God. So did you have another picture? No, I don't that was so. it. I think that was it for today because, oh, you know, oh, I didn't know. For today, know. okay, yeah, 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 because, yeah. We, <laughs> yeah, we did. And, and I just want to tell everybody it would be after Easter, but, you know, I hope mm -hmm. that you had a wonderful Holy Week, Palm Sunday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, Marty Thursday, mm -hmm. you know, and Easter Sunday, which is Resurrection Sunday. It all would have passed, but, you know, we want to extend out, you know, hopefully, that it was safe and blessed, yes. especially since that incident on Key Bridge, mm -hmm. um, which we need to pray for those people that they find them, because they would just they stopped doing whatever they were doing to do something else different they said yeah. and um you know you don't know how many cars went went in there and all that stuff that was on that that that, that barge you know mm -hmm. it says hazardous material so it's a good thing that that stuff didn't fall into that water uh, yes you know because or didn't that blow would up affected that would affected the water because oh, I, li I live very close to that everybody um, yeah. that area mm -hmm. so um so we send our prayers out to those people, and there's just so much stuff yes. that's going on, and we're going to rebuke the adversary off of everybody that's watching this program. Mm -hmm. We're going to rebuke them off of, off your finances, off your health, off your home, your property, mm -hmm. your children, just off of anything that has to do with you and the people that you come in contact with, and my viewers, and my producers, you know, and my guests, you know, because this is really, 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 mm -hmm. it, I, ask me, okay? Nobody would ever think that somebody would be sick for like almost three months. You understand, right. you know? And then we, then you think you're getting better. Mm -hmm. And here I am. Okay. Yeah, no but, questions. Um, but I'm so glad that you're here because I wouldn't have been able to do this I without you. Too. And um, then it wasn't supposed, the other two people that canceled mm -hmm. weren't supposed to be here. So that's one thing about God. Whoever's supposed to be is going to be it's there. It's going to be. You know? Yeah. And, um, and you would give an opportunity to sing this song. Um, you know, you had an opportunity to talk about it, just you and I just had this conversation. And so in a few minutes, though, I'm going to move out the way so that they can set her up so that she can, you know, sing for you, um, you know, this song, because I think you said it's like five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So, minutes. yeah, in a, in a minute, I'm going to get out your way um, mm -hmm. so that you can sing and, and you know, can Tom, can, she can do. So I want to tell you guys good night because you don't want to hear me no more anyway. <laughs> but I love you. Tom <laughs> says this about me. That's one thing about you, Paula. I, it don't matter whether or not. The only thing that's going to stop you short of coming if you have death in the family. But if you break a leg, break a foot, <laughs> it, it, you know, no matter, you're going to be here, okay? That's right. The only thing that if you're not in the hospital, which you know I ain't going, okay, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> or it's death, you know, now that, you know. Yeah. But other than but, that, he said, that's one thing I can say about you, you're going to be here. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> so I thank you so much again. And I appreciate it. Because I'm going to get out too. your way. 
and I thank everybody and I hope that everybody be blessed. And it's the worst allergy season, they say, guys, that we're going to have. And so you can't get in touch with me right now because I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Take <laughs> your local honey, local honey. Girl, I've been doing that too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say good night and I'm going to get out your way. never knew I could feel this way. Mm. I feel like I have wings. I'm flying. Friendship that grew into something new. So unsuspecting, but so true. Now I can't get enough of you. When you touch me, it's like a lightning. When you kiss me, When you love me, heaven and earth move around me, got me flying, soaring, fly me away, Ooh. from this higher place, oh, you take All along you needed me to Every step I take, you take me through Every move like a butterfly flows Ooh, When you love me, it's like lightning When you kiss me me flying so Jamais, jamais on sentit ça. J'étais sans tout amour de moi. Je suis à toi entièrement. Je me sens pousser des ailes si légères. This is the moment I knew. His future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. 
Hey, did you know 2.4 million loving cats and dogs in shelters and rescues need our help to find a home? Let's go to the shelterpetproject.org and meet a few who are in a shelter near you. Harlo. Oh, she's one great listener who loves to hear all your stories. My kind of cat. Shrulo is a sweet, goofy boy who's eager to please. Sounds just like another dog I know. So go to the shelterpetproject.org, search your local shelters and rescues, and go for a cuddle with your next best friend. Adopt. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you gonna do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you gonna make of yourself? What are you gonna make of me? Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Open up your books to page 360. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Talking about inspirational quotes. You gotta believe in yourself. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Green hat. <coughs> Red hat. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> Red shirt. Blue shirt. Yellow shirt. Oops. <laughs> Yellow pants. Red pants. Green pants. Oops. <laughs> Don't wait. Communicate. Make your emergency plan today. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America.